Hello and welcome back to iXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duthick and today we are continuing on with the midpoint formula, specifically iXL B8. And this time we are going to be analyzing the endpoints of a line segment uh, where they are they already give us the midpoint. And this is uh, what I mean. So I'm going to pull this up. I already have the problem here. So let me illustrate that for B7, for the last iXL we did, we were trying to find the midpoint. So let's say we have a graph kind of like this and we have a point here and a point here and we wanted to find the midpoint I don't know maybe somewhere around there okay so we had our first endpoint and our second endpoint and we wanted to find our x comma y value for the point that was exactly in the middle and we just did that by adding the x uh, coordinates together dividing by two and then adding the y coordinates of the two endpoints and dividing by two and that would be our x comma y value so what we're doing this time around is they uh, give us our midpoint already. So I'll kind of redraw that. They give us our midpoint already and they give us one of our endpoints already, but we are missing our other endpoints. So they kind of give us our solution already. They give us one of our endpoints, but we still have to find that missing second endpoint. So that's all we're doing. We're just kind of working our way backwards. So just like last time, I would use the same formula. I would use our midpoint formula, which is just x1 plus x2. So we're just adding the x's together then dividing by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 all over 2. So remember, the reason why it's a comma is because the midpoint is a point, right? It's a coordinate point. It's an x comma y value. So we're going to do the x's first comma, and then the y's. Okay, so we'll start by plugging things in. Uh, the midpoint it says is nine comma seven. So I'm just gonna write down nine comma seven right there equals, and then we'll plug in our first coordinate right here, x one comma y one, x one comma y one. And so x one is going to be 10, Plus, we don't know our x2 yet. That's what we were trying to find for the answer. So I'm just going to write x2 over 2, comma. y1 is going to be 9 plus y2. We don't know that. We need to figure that out. So plus y2 all over 2. Okay. Now, if we find x2 and y2, we will be done. That is our solution. So what I would recommend next is I would separate the x's and put them together, and I would put these y's together. Specifically, I would set the x coordinate of the midpoint together, uh, or I would set it equal to the x of the formula, and then I would set the y coordinate of the midpoint to the y part of the equation. So what that looks like is we're going to go 9 equals, so 9 right here, the x coordinate of our midpoint, equals 10 plus x2 all over 2. And then in a separate equation, I'm going to do the y's now. So 7 equals 9 plus y2 over 2. Cool. OK, let's start over here with the x's. Uh, to get x2 by itself, we first got to get rid of this 2 on the bottom. So let's multiply both sides by 2 like this. OK, 2's cancel out. So we are left with 2 times 9 is 18, which equals 10 plus x2. Now to get x2 by itself, we'll just subtract 10 from both sides. So we are left with 8 equals x2. Okay, first one is complete. Let's do the y's now. So just like last time, we've got to get rid of the 2, so we're going to multiply by both sides. 2's cancel out to 1. 2 times 7 is 14, which equals 9 plus y2. Now to get y by itself, we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. Good. So we have 14 minus 9, which is 5, which equals y2. So now we have our coordinate. So our uh, endpoint is going to be 8, 5. 8, 5. Okay, let's plug it in. We're going to do 8, 5. There we go. Okay, I'm going to skip this one, same type of problem, uh, same type of problem, another easy one. 
Okay, this one has decimals. We'll do this one. Why not? Do that, do that. Okay, same thing as last time. They give us a midpoint of 13.5 and 9.5. And then they give us one of the end points, which is 10 comma 10. So our midpoint formula M equals x1 plus x2 all over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. So I'm going to write down our midpoint, which is going to be 13.5 comma 9.5, which is going to equal our equation of uh, we'll make this x1 and y1. So x1 is going to be 10 plus x2 all over 2, comma, y1 is going to be 10 as well, plus y2 over 2. Okay, just like last time, we're, we'll uh, set the x's equal to each other and the y's equal to each other. So we'll have 13.5 equals 10 plus x2 over 2. To get x2 by itself, we got to get rid of the 2 on the bottom, so multiply both sides by 2. The 2's cancel out here. So 2 times 13.5 is just going to be 27 equals 10 plus x2. To get x2 by itself, we got to subtract the 10 from both sides. 10s cancel out. So 27 minus 10 is 17, which is going to equal x2. So we have our coordinate there. Now let's do the y's. So we'll do 9.5 equals uh, 10 plus y2 over 2. Okay, to get y2 by itself, we've got to get rid of the 2. So multiply by 2, multiply by 2. These are going to cancel out. So 2 times 9.5 is going to be 19, which equals 10 plus y2. We're going to subtract 10 from both sides to get y2 by itself. 19 minus 10 is going to be 9, and then equals y2. And that's it. So our coordinate endpoint is going to be 17, comma, 9. So let's plug that in. We have... 17 comma 9. Okay. More of the same. And more of the same except with the larger numbers. Okay. That's it. I'm going to stop there. All the problems are basically the same. So uh, stay safe, take care, study hard, and see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.